Welcome to the Everyman's Auto Video Car Diary. Today we're going to talk about things that I might buy. I'm a dad. I have two sons. I have a spouse. And our car's getting a little older. Our daily driver is a 2003 Yukon XL. You can see from the car seats behind me that I have two sons. You maybe can't see the one right behind me, but I have two car seats back there. So I need to think about them and my wife when, when, when we're looking at a new car. And then I need to think about myself and how much fun it is to actually drive that new car. The next couple of video car diaries that we're going to do for you are probably going to be just based on stuff that I think family guys can buy that are fun still. So four factors I look at when, when buying a car. Can we afford it? Uh, no. That, that's pretty much the answer to everything. But we'll figure something out. The second thing I look at is does it have a back seat and how big is that back seat and how functional is it going to be for those two massive car seats. Third thing is cargo room in the back. And then the fourth thing is how much fun is it going to be to drive the car? Am I going to feel alive in the car? Does it, have a, does it come in a manual transmission or does it only come in automatic? Those are all things that I think about. The car we're going to talk about this week is the 2013 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. I've driven two of these in the last couple of months. One was a uh, Wrangler Unlimited Sport, or Wrangler Sport Unlimited. The other one was a Wrangler Sahara Unlimited. The Sahara was much nicer on the inside, but it was also much pricier in the pocketbook. Both of them, though, were in the mid-30s. So on that, that Category 1, it's a little harder. A base Wrangler Unlimited, though, is back down in the 20s. So you can pull it off without the satellite radio, without stuff like that. You can get one in the 20s. It's upper 20s, but it's still in the 20s. Jeeps for the longest time have started about $24,000. The last 20 years or so, that price hasn't really gone anywhere. A lot of other cars, their, their, their base price are, are kind of climbing a little bit. The Wranglers are still right at $24,000. Now, it does have a back seat. You get a four-door Wrangler Unlimited, you get a back seat. It's a pretty good sized back seat without car seats in it. When you put the car seats in it, it gets a little tighter. But here's the thing. Those car seats may be the easiest install I've ever had of putting car seats in a vehicle. Uh, on the crooked finger test, I give it a one out of five. I barely hit any knuckles. Everything clipped easily the first time. I was able to tighten everything, throw my butt in it, cinch it down real quick. It was a piece of cake to put the car seats in. Four minutes is what I did there. And then also, because it's the unlimited, then you have space in the in the trunk for stuff that you would need for the stroller, for your Sam shopping, your Costco shopping, the the, the actual amounts of stuff that you need for your family to take care of your family fit in the car. That that's a thing that you can do. Then we come to the drivability, does it make me feel alive? The six-speed manual gearbox does. I love that manual gearbox. The automatic, it's a five-speed automatic, is also very good. And it's a shiftable automatic. You can control it down low, but it's just not the same as depressing the clutch and, and selecting your gear. The Jeep Wrangler Unlimited recently, I want to say 20, 2011, 2012, they, they put a new engine in. It's a Pentastar V6. makes 282 horsepower. It's a great engine. Great engine. It's increased the miles per gallon from 16 on the highway to 20 on the highway, and I was able to get 22 out of the, the, the Sport. The Sahara I drove had some big honking tires on it, and that actually cut back down into our miles per gallon number and made it worse. I got about mid upper 15s to, to low 16s with the, with the big tires. I really like the Wrangler Unlimited. It, it, it makes me feel alive again. I, I liked it when I was in high school. I loved them when I was in college. I had one just after college. I really, really love this car. They're a lot of fun to drive. The ability to go on, off-road, to deal with snow, to deal with rain, it, it just doesn't matter what you're dealing with in the Wrangler. It can probably take care of it. The ride has gotten so much better with the longer wheelbase. The suspension is helpful. I drove a, a, a two-door Wrangler, an 04, to Virginia and back. Actually, I drove it from Florida to New Jersey, New Jersey to Kansas, Kansas to Virginia, Virginia back to Kansas, Kansas to Texas, Texas to Florida one summer. It was a lot of miles on that Jeep, and it was rough mileage on the highway, but it got it done. 
The other thing with the Wrangler is, is you're basically buying an off-road convertible. With the hard top, you need a friend to, to help you take the top off. But with the soft top, you can get the soft top down in about five minutes. Putting it back up takes a little longer, probably closer to seven. But in the long run, I mean, less than 10 minutes time, either way, you can put it on, you can take it off, you're ready to go. You can experience nature. You can be a part of it, even in town. So, that's our first suggestion for if you're having your early midlife crisis, you don't have a ton of money, but you want something, go look at the Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. They're a lot of fun. I had a blast in it. Very capable vehicle. I played with it. I probably drove it off-road a little too much, but it's a lot of fun. They're meant to go off-road. Don't worry, I didn't, I didn't scratch the rims. They're pretty rims, though. Twitter and Instagram, we're at Everyman's Auto. Our website is everymansauto.net. You can also read, I write for uh, GAS2, G-A-S, the number two, dot org, for your uh, alternative fuel needs. The Jeep Wrangler Unlimited does not really fit into GAS2's kind of mind frame unless you're dealing with a diesel one. Which a diesel Wrangler would be kind of cool, be really torquey. Definitely do some rock crawling in that. But we haven't seen that yet. Here's here's for hoping, right? So thanks for watching. Everymansauto.net is the website. Add Everymansauto for everything else. We'll see you next time.